Hello, my name is Mark19967 and today I'm going to teach you how to build the perfect heli base. Why is it perfect? Because it's incredibly difficult to actually get killed. So, quite simply, we're going to start off with a 4x4. Just like that. That's your footprint. Second, we're going to put down the ground floor. like this and obviously an airlock. Airlock should be second nature, you should always put have an airlock down on your base. Now put the roof down. So a little bit of background information. I'm an admin on a modded server. It's called Storm uh, PVE. People think PVE is boring. I beg to differ. Um, we take helicopters down on this server all the time. All the time we're going to take down helicopters again after again after again. In fact, it got so commonplace that we had to up the health of the helicopter. We had to mod the actual helicopter themselves. The helicopter I'll be attacking in the next video is what we call a times five health. That means it still has five times the health of a vanilla helicopter. Whereas the normal vanilla helicopters are so easy to do, I'm going to include a video to show you just how simple and silly the vanilla helicopters are um, that they go down in literally 10 seconds. Hopefully I can stick that video on here, if the person doesn't mind. Uh, they've done it on this server, and we had a vanilla helicopter for just a day, and we realised that it was too easy and we started to upgrade the types of helicopter. There are three types of helicopter on this server. There is the vanilla helicopter, there is the times 5 helicopter, and there is the times 10 helicopter. The times 10 helicopter does with a rocket run, which usually is about 8 rockets, 565. So as you can see, we've modded the helicopters an awful lot on this server. I'll not be using God mode, I'm not free to wolf. Um, I don't do that. Uh, I'll be doing everything in... Um, player mode. So, I'm going to look at this very quickly. Um, I'm just going to upgrade this, so bear with me one second. I've got a few tricks up my sleeve um, as an admin. Uh, so bear with me, so upgrade two, and there we go, it's two stone. So, there's your airlock. There's the ladder hatch. Now, why have I built this like this? Well, let's say for argument's sake this base gets raided. And that door goes and then this door goes. You still have this to kneel down behind and attack. And attack just like that. People raiding you cannot get past this ladder hatch. They can try. So if I'm the raider, if I'm coming in from this way and I'm trying to raid, I cannot get through. They need the door code to get through that. And they won't have the door code. This is not a cheap base to build. If you're attacking a normal vanilla helicopter, I would suggest that stone is perfectly adequate. That should be enough to uh, enough to suffice. Uh, if you're going for a helicopter on this particular server, I would recommend something a little bit stronger. So I would upgrade it to sheet metal minimum or uh, armoured. And believe me, on this server, armoured air bases are all over the place. So. What makes this base so special, uh, you will have seen bases like it before, but there's a lot of new additions to this particular design that protect you from the helicopter. Now I've taught this to many people on the server, I've shown them the design, and they've adapted it. Some of them have turned it into circular bases, I like to keep it square, I like to keep things simple. So we want to be getting from the bottom floor to the top floor as quickly as possible. I'm going to need to build it at least four floors high. You can go higher, but I don't really recommend it. Uh, I would go lower if you're on uh, a mountainside. Um, I would not go lower than two. Two would be the lowest I would ever go on this. So, essentially we just put walls and we're just essentially building up, following the same footprint, building up. So what we're doing. So 
So there's the ground floor down there. So this is floor number one. I'll be doing this in real time. Now, obviously, this is a little bit much for a solo on a vanilla, unless um, the server that you're on is modded to times three, two, something like that. So let's get another staircase down. Now, I want these staircases to be following on from each other. I don't want them to be all over the place. The idea is to get from the bottom to the top as fast as possible, and vice versa. So, that's the ground floor, this is floor number one, this is floor number two, this is floor number three. Just building up. Now, when you're going for a helicopter, uh, I'm speaking in terms of vanilla helicopters, uh, I would suggest uh, an AK minimum uh, and a bolt-action rifle. When you're attacking the helicopter, don't go for the body of the helicopter. Go for the rotor blades. There's one rear rotor blade and there's the main rotor blade on top of it. Don't go for it, the body of the helicopter. You're just wasting ammo. Now, I think this is the fourth floor. So, just follow this around. Now, stability is going to be a problem. Because we're moving up high, we need to get high. Um, but stability is going to be a problem. So a typical problem with stability is if I build a, I'm building out one now. If I put one out there and I try and build one out on this edge, it destroys. But if I put one here, then put one here, it stays. So a little building tip there for you: build these two first, then that one. Build these two first, then that one. And the same again. And just fill up the spaces. Now, on this particular server, I couldn't actually believe it when I saw it. It usually takes me about 45 seconds with an M249 and enough ammo and enough meds to take down a helicopter. I was beaten by a couple of players. They, they had two players, I was only solo. But they did it in 10 seconds, in case you don't believe me. And we take it down helicopters on this server like no one's business. We are so fast, so good, so quick. This is a PvP server, it's Storm PvE, um, and it's a times 10 server with Z levels, uh, so it's very easy to get resources. Um, but the problem is, is that people think PvE is silly, that you can't raid and there's no fun in it. I beg to differ. I'll be showing you that in the next video. PvE is fun because it means when you wake up in the morning, your resources are yours. No one steals from you, no one raids you. So what I'm doing now is I'm building uh, door frames to increase the stability of the floor above. Now, what makes this base so special? Let me just upgrade it. I'll show you. Okay, so here's the upgraded air building. Now, this outer edge here is your attack zone. This part right here is your safe zone. Out here you can be hurt. In here you cannot be hurt. I'm going to repeat that. You cannot be hurt in here. Completely safe. No bullet can hit you. No rocket can hit you. We'll be going over that in the next video. So Again, like I said, the stability is a problem here, so I have to build these wall frames here to actually bolster the building. So now I am just attacking it. That helicopter, by the way, has been spawned in. We don't wait for helicopters to come to us. We, we, we order the helicopters in, and we use a, a particular mod called Shop, and we can buy a helicopter here. Call attack, uh, call attack heli to attack you. It's a 10 minute cooldown period. That's necessary, otherwise people will just be attacking heli after heli after heli after heli. We are that fast. Vanilla helicopters are a joke to me. It's a joke to the server. They are so easy to take down. And we don't use explosive rounds or high velocity rounds or incendiary rounds. Just use normal 556 five, because that's the right ammo to use. 
and we take them down so fast. The particular helicopter we're using now is got five times the health. We can increase that to times ten. You can probably hear in the background that there's a helicopter attacking already. We fight them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We just do not stop. It's why this server is so fun. We take down tanks and we have zombies that have got better rainbow than the blue scientists in the military tunnels. So be warned, if you're going to come here just because you think it's PvE and you don't think you're going to die, you will die, but you won't get raided. And no player on here can hurt you. People who come, people stay. So they don't want to go back to vanilla. It is totally garbage. This next part I'm building here, this is called the umbrella. Now, some people believe that you can do this with half walls. No, you can't. Uh, the flames will go through the roof. Now, the helicopter will fire on rockets, and the rockets will hit the roof, and the flames... The underneath of the flame actually penetrates through the wall, and it will burn you and kill you. Because the thing I have worked out meticulously is that you need two spaces. Space number one, space number two. You're safe. You're always two spaces from the wall. From this outer wall, you're always two spaces. Problem is, you're not two spaces up. So north, south, east, west, you're fine. Up, you're not fine. So you have to have two spaces. So this will be space number one, and the roof above it will be space number two. But again, stability is an issue with this design, so you need to put down these. If I try to build it now, well, I'll just demonstrate that for you. If I try and build it, so I'll put this one here. No, it doesn't go. It doesn't happen. I can waste as much much wood as I want. It's not going down. Put put these put these uh, door frames down. It goes down. That's why it works. So put the door frames down. Now I'm upgrading super fast, but if you're with a group or two or three solo duo trio. They can be upgrading behind you. If you build it, they, they upgrade behind it. So, it will be about the same amount of time. Now, I take down these uh, these helicopters solo. I don't do it uh, with a group. I think that's, that's silly. Um, I prefer to do it on my own. So, let's upgrade up all, all this now. Upgrade two. There it goes. And what I'm looking for now is just squares. Just want to make sure that the squares everywhere. Just making sure I've got all this down. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's put the ladder hatch up. You need four ladder hatches in total to do this properly. Let's put this down. There we go. Just upgrade that. And there we go. And we're now up on the top floor. This will be the roof. Remember, all my builds are in real time. So as you can see, it doesn't take long to get this down. It's more gathering the resources of the problems. And this is an expensive undertaking. Make no mistake, it is not cheap. But then again, you will be taking down the helicopter with it. Now with a vanilla helicopter, like I say, with an AK I can probably do it in under two minutes. AK in a bolty, because uh, you need to actually hit the helicopter first to get it to come towards you. As you can see, somebody else is just attacking somebody else over there somewhere. You can probably just see it in the distance. Like I say, every 10 minutes there's another helicopter spawning in. Right, what's that? Upgrade. Boom. So, this base is now ready. Uh, I put, always put this little lip on here because while you're up here with the bolt action trying to uh, tack or tag or hit the heli, uh, I would like to have a little lip here. So in the heat of the moment, you might fall off, and I prefer to actually not to. So this is the umbrella, like I say, and it's fully structured up, and this will stop any flames getting through to you and attacking you on the ground floor. This is your safe room. This is the danger room. Always reload in here. Always med up in here. Always bandage up in here. Never do any of, the, any of those things I just mentioned in the danger zone. You always run in here. And you're only ever two spaces away 
from the safe zone. Okay, now, school of thought. These windows. Uh, some people build half walls and then a little wall above and then walk through there. I don't like that design. Uh, I don't think it works very well. So, I use horizontal metal embrasures. Now, again, this is a controversial uh, choice because people like vertical metal embrasures. These type, instead of these type. Now I'm going to explain why these are total garbage and these rule every single time. And it's all got to do with recoil. So let me go outside and just explain to you about the AK recoil. If you've ever got hold of an AK, oh boy, has it got some recoil. So, little experiment here. Again, let's just upgrade that to two to make it more visual. Now, I'm going to stand. I'm going to hold the right hand mouse button and I'm going to push the, le uh, the left mouse button. I am not going to move the mouse whatsoever. Watch this. Garbage. Absolute garbage. So, people have adapted by doing short bursts of three like that. But again, it's still garbage. Now let me show you crouched. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly pull down, just a little bit down. Okay? So here we go. Not crouched. Crouched. Maybe people think I'm messing around, so what I'll do is I'll just do that again, and this time I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with this, except I'm just not going to be crouched. So I'm just going to pull it slightly down, but I'm going to be standing this time. It's uncontrollable. So when you're crouched, which you should know by now, you get a much tighter grouping of your bullets, rather than this. Crouched, slightly pulling down, standing, slightly pulling down. You decide. That's the whole reason behind the horizontal and the vertical metal embrasures. These are garbage because you'll be standing. You can crouch, but when you crouch, this thing's in the way, this thing's in the way, and this thing's in the way. When you're crouched, nothing's in your way. You've got a good sweep of your weapon. This is standing, this is crouched, good sweep. This is standing, this is crouched. Blocked, 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 view, view, blocked. Garbage, brilliant, get rid of it. Always go for a horizontal metal embrasures. Now, this was a vanilla server, this base will be ready, and you could take it down straight away, no fuss, no bother. In the next video, the base will be slightly upgraded. It'll need to be, because you will need, you'll be in the f heli fight for a lot longer. But in a base like this, if I had an M249 in a base like this with a vanilla heli, 45 seconds. 45 seconds. I've seen two guys do it with 10 seconds. A helicopter in 10 seconds. From the first hit to the, to the last hit, 10 seconds. I've actually got the video. I'm going to put the link in the description in case you don't believe me. But I will see it. This is perfect for a vanilla helicopter. Let's find out what the damage is. Let's see what the damage is. Okay. Oops. Made two of them there. This is Storm PVE, by the way. It's Instacraft. Right, okay. So the damage minimum is 24,000 stone, 1,000, just over 1,000 metal frags. It is expensive. It's not cheap. Never said it was going to be cheap. I just said it was going to be perfect. See? There's the helicopter there being attacked. And in 10 minutes' time, there'll be another one. Helicopters go down like flies in this place. So, I'm going to be attacking a much stronger helicopter than the normal typical vanilla, so I'll be having these up to sheet metal, maybe even armoured. I haven't done no, I haven't decided yet. But this is something you can do at a later date if you want to uh, increase the um, 
defense of your helicopter attack, then you can do this. Let's have a look at the damage. 2,000, 22,000. Not too bad. As you can see in chat, people are talking about stealing helis. We don't run away from them, we want them. This is why this server is so amazing. You can easily gather the resources and you can take down helicopters and gather all the loot. And that loot, by the way, is boosted. You will get, I don't know, 20,000 rounds of different 5.56, M249s, M92s. It's amazing. It's amazing, this server. That's why I love it so much. I came on this server about six months ago. Never left since. So much so that the admin made me an admin. We became good friends, me and GTA. Very good friends. So, here's the heli base. Now, as with all things, you need to prepare. Let's say, for argument's sake, you are in the danger zone and you die. Um, it's a bit silly because anything, if you've got health of less than 50%, you should be in here healing up. But occasionally, in the heat of the moment, it could happen, I suppose. It's never happened to me. If I go less than 50, I'm in here. So, And if you can, put on a little pookie bear there. Because um, the Pookie Bear will actually help you uh, heal while, you, while you're actually uh, medding up. It just takes off a few points. So what you need to do now is concentrate on heli def uh, preparedness. So obviously you want equipment in here. So I've got a T2 workbench. That's just a craft gunpowder. Uh, I've got a repair bench to repair your guns, obviously. I've got a salvage shells with boxes and you can keep your cloth, your meds uh, extra ammo in these boxes if you want to there we go and a fridge if you do die, you will die with a bit of malnutrition so you want to put a bit of food in there uh, and obviously last but definitely not least is a bed the other thing you might want to consider, it's an optional extra, um, is a locker. It's up to you if you want to do it. Um, you can put a locker in here and have a quick change with a full set of armor and a full set of gear. And, yeah, there's, there's another helicopter down. Um, so, yeah, it's not a problem. It looks like someone's type asking me for any chat. Uh, so, yeah, it's all about preparedness. It's all about what you're ready to do. Uh, and when you're ready to do all this stuff, build the base and take him down. Remember, danger zone, safe zone. The reason you can't get hit is because the angle's too steep. The helicopter will always be slightly above you on this particular floor. Sometimes is eye level. And even at eye level, you can just see that the chances of you being hit are extremely minimal. And to be honest with you, 300 kills I've had with helicopters with this design never been hit in this room ever not once taking on a helicopter with uh, 64 rockets in a rocket run and what they actually managed to do was take out that wall and when that happened I had a few problems but all in all that doesn't happen not with vanilla not with this design People don't believe me when I show them this space. Then I let them sit off inside that little spa safe space and watch helicopter attack, and they don't take one hit point. Not in here. If you choose to, you can upgrade. Um, it's up to you. Um, if you were going to upgrade, I would upgrade this outer wall. Um, the reason being is that if you're on a server where you can be raided, um, the problem is, is that there's an overhang. The overhang is very deliberate. It's not just there for aesthetics. Um, let's have a look. Now, when the attack, when the helicopter attacks, it attacks in this position, and this overhang here protects this wall here, and the, probably a few blocks down from rocket damage. The problem is, is that now you have a vulnerability underneath. Now, if it's sheet metal, they can't pick through. If it's stone. Um, it's a bit of a problem because what they'll do is they'll just build up with a ladder and put down a foundation like that uh, like that sorry and what they'll do is they'll just land on here and then they'll start hitting this 
if it was made out of stone, if it's made out of sheet metal, that actually becomes pick-proof. It's in virtually impossible to pick through. It would take so long. So, like I say on the last next video, I'll be taking down the helicopter with this design. It will be slightly more upgraded on this, uh, because it is a times 5 health helicopter. Uh, but the way the helicopter attacks is very simple. He will do a rocket run and he will hit this wall. All you do is you run over to this side and he will fly in a direct line from that wall straight over. And all you do is kneel down, wait for him to fly over and bang, bang, bang. You get his tail, you get his uh, main rotor and he's dead. It is that simple. So let's look at the final damage. This is uh, an upgraded base. I wouldn't bother with changing uh, this to sheet metal. Just this outer edge here, this outer lip. Wouldn't bother with this because I'm not going to pick through that without going through the wall. So let's have a look at the final damage. And the final damage for an upgraded base is 21,000 and 2,500 ish metal frags. And don't forget, you've got some base defenses, but again, this is not your main base. This is your heli base. It's completely different. It's a completely different story. It's not meant to be raid proof or at least raid resistant. It's just meant to take down heli. You run out, grab the heli loot, run back in here. If you are getting attacked and they are trying to raid this base, you do have extra defenses just in case you need them. All in all, that's the base design. That's a pretty good one. I like to call it the perfect heli base because the heli just simply cannot kill you. As long as you follow some simple rules, you will not die. And I'll show you in the next video that you won't die. Over and over again, I have fought Heli in this base 300 times, and 300 times I have won. I'm not the best PvP, -er, I'm not the best shot. It's the design of the base, not the player, that takes down the helicopter. Just aim for the rotors. 40 hits on the main rotor, 40 hits on the rear rotor, and he goes down like a sack of spuds. That's vanilla and modded. My name's Mark19967. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.